Good afternoon. I did not get up until like 12 because I stayed up all night reading, of course. Uh, oh, oh. Can I get the spot? Hee hee. Hee doesn't let me get the spot very often. Anyway, I stayed up all night reading. I think I went to bed around five. So yeah, <laughs> I started a book and I finished a book last night. So yeah, uh, it was a pretty good book, I'd have to say. Uh, Entangled is awesome, you know this. And stop licking my arm. <sighs> I, what was I going to say? Candace, you made me lose track of my, my thoughts. What do you have to say? Uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Uh, oh, I, this was completely random, but it just got really, really dark. So we're probably going to get some more rain today. Woohoo. What are you doing? Being lazy? Huh? You were lazy this morning. I don't think it will come to anyone's surprise that basically all day I've been reading. I started another Entangled book, again, surprise, surprise, and was really just reading and doing random things. I mean, nothing really vlog worthy, so I definitely apologize for that. So I just finished the book that I had been reading, and it. It was a better book than I had been expecting. The reason why I say that is I've been reading a lot of lighter romances um, from Entangled, or at least sort of, kind of, not really. Actually, that's kind of a lie. <laughs> um, but I hadn't expected this one book that I read today to be as hard-hitting as it was, and when I say that, um, I mean this book dealt with cancer. And it was a romance. It is a romance book. But it also, uh, cancer affects every, just about every character's life in the book. And what I'm dealing with now, I mean, with my grandmother, uh, it, it hit home. So, yeah, it was a tough read. And yes, I cried. And I hate, hate, hate admitting that I cry. But I'm getting better about that. Um, Sarah's helping me with that. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a problem. Um, I like to hide a lot of my emotions. You don't really see that in the vlogs. Maybe you do. I, I don't think you do. Um, I try to keep my, my vlogs positive. Um, but, yeah. I don't like crying. I know I've said that before. I do not like crying. Uh, but I can admit that I did cry to this book because of how realistic it felt. And when talking to the author on Twitter... By the way, the, the name of the book is called Ashes and Wine. And it's... Uh, the author's name is Taryn Elliott, and I absolutely recommend reading it if you're dealing with cancer or not in your life. It, it really doesn't matter because I think you can relate to it no matter what your circumstances are. Although if you're, if you're really close to somebody um, struggling with cancer or recently struggling or something like that, um, it's going to hit you a little bit harder because I learned, um, talking to the author, to Taryn, on Twitter, that she had lost both of her parents to cancer. So, yeah, her pain and her love and her just plain out knowledge of what that experience is like really shows in her writing. Because it was a romance novel, uh, it, it had such realistic feeling to it and it showed that, you know, love can get you through a lot of stuff and uh, that's that's ultimately why I really liked this book. So uh, don't worry about me, I'm only uh, congested because I cried uh, near the end of the book um, and I get congested and that doesn't go away for a while. So it's not like I'm depressed or anything like that. Don't worry about me, <laughs> I'm cool. Actually there's, um, wow, there's a really bad song, I think it was on Beavis and Butthead, maybe, I don't know. But it's, it's, I'm cool like that, I'm cool like that, I'm cool like that. Something like that? I don't, my mom knows what I'm talking about. 
Um, I should, yeah, I'm gonna look it up on YouTube. Hold on a sec. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I'm cool like that. 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 Yeah, this is a song. I'm cool. That's what I'm talking about, so I'm cool like that. <laughs> wow. This is a really bad song. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I just want to say that book was amazing, and like I said, heavily recommend it. Um, it was it was good. Very good. Um, and I made sure the author understood how much I liked it. So, yeah, it was a heavier book than I've been reading for a while, but it's it's nice because it's realistic. And I am definitely a realist. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to start another book tonight because I'll be sucked in. Oh my gosh, my publishing company is awesome. I recommend you go out and buy every Entangled book you can. Or, the, or every one that sounds interesting to you because they're all good. Um, I'm not promoting this because it's, it's my job. I'm promoting it because they're all so good. And I continually am impressed with the authors of my company. So, yeah. this I know this sounds cheap, but I absolutely mean it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking congested and red eyes. Um, these books get to me on different levels. And, yeah, they're all amazing. So, I'm not going to start another one because I will get wrapped up in it and stay up until 5 a.m. And I don't need to do that again today. Today? Tonight? I just combined today and tonight... Uh, Obviously, that means I need sleep. So, um, thanks for dealing with me, with emotional me, that I don't really show that much. Um, yeah. Good night. Good night, guys.